Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass geometry. In this video we're going to go over 30, 60, 90 degree special triangles by looking at the ratio of its side lengths and by finding the values of the triangle when only given lengths across 30 degrees, across 60 degrees, and the length of the hypotenuse. So, so 30, 60, 90 degree triangles are special because they form an equilateral triangle when a mirror image of itself is drawn. This creates all equal sides and these different ratios that allow us to solve different problems. So here we have our triangle. Notice our degrees inside with 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees. And this is the ratio that it ends up forming. So across 30 degrees, we always have A. Across 90 degrees, that hypotenuse, the value 2A. And across 60 degrees, we have A rad 3. So just to show you a little background about where this ratio comes from, I'm gonna draw out that mirror image that I mentioned before. So if we kind of draw this line here, so we'll just pretend that that is perfect. And so this is just kind of like we flip this horizontal. So this is also 30 degrees and then this side is 30, 60 degrees. So if we just had this value of A over here and this value is A because they're mirror images of each other, this entire thing would be 2A. So remember, this is an equilateral triangle, right? There's 60 degrees here, 60 degrees here, and now we have this 60 degree angle here as well. So 30 plus 30, we get 60 degrees also. So because everything is equal, all equal angles, all of these sides are gonna be equal. So 2A here, we have 2A here, and then 2A is also here. If we just look at our triangle that forms from, from this mirror image, so let's just put this over here. So if we draw this mirror image, we get A down here, the, what we started with, the 2A over here, because we found that these two added together is 2A, and that all sides are equal. So this is also 2A. And then we don't really know the height though. This is kind of like our unknown, This, so let's just call it H for now. So to find that, we just use the Pythagorean theorem, and that's how we end up with this value. So just to do that quickly before we start any examples. So the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So now if we put it in terms of our 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, um, we have a squared plus our unknown, our h squared, equals 2a squared. So this is the whole thing to make sure we have this parentheses going on. So this is equal to a squared plus h squared equals 4a squared. So now we just want to get h alone, so we're just going to subtract a squared from both sides. And we end up with h squared equals 3a squared. So we're almost done, we just want to find that h, so we're just going to take the square root of both sides. And when we do that we get h is equal to a rad 3, which is exactly the the ratio that we have here, this value here for h is a rad 3. So this just shows you why we have these special triangles in the first place and where they come from. So now let's uh, put this to good use and start our examples. Find the value of the missing sides of the following 30, 60, 90 triangle. So we're given this value of a right here, this value of the length across from 30 degrees, which is 4. So this is a really nice easy one because anything across 30 degrees is just equal to A. So if you remember, so let's just write out the ratio on the side, 30 degrees, 60 degrees. So here we have A, this is A red 3, and then this is 2A. So once we have A, we can answer any side really easily. So since we, they give us A, we can find 2A really easy. So 2A is just 2 times, times A, which is 4. So this is just going to be 8. And then over here, the other leg, we have a red 3. And since a is 4, this is just equal to 4 red 3. So that's our answer. So for the next example, given the length of the hypotenuse. So now we have this, this value of 20 that is across from the 90 degree mark. So we're just going to do the same thing. So we know that, so remember, anything across the hypotenuse is just equal to 2a. So if this is 2a, how do we find a? We're just going to divide out this 2. So if you divide both sides, a is going to be equal to 10. And the value of a just goes across that 30 degree 
mark there so we know a equals 10 over here and then on this side a is a red 3 so we know a is 10 so we know that this will be 10 red 3. Now uh, for the last example we have here so this time we're given the value across from that 60 degree uh, angle so notice so yeah be, be careful when because sometimes you're going to have different triangles that are faced different ways. So just be careful of that. So we know that 60 degrees is across from this length that we're given. So we know that this is going to be equal to a rad 3. So we don't know the value of this a. So why don't we bring, bring this equation over here. So we have a rad 3 equals 9. And we have to solve for a. So to do that, we're just going to divide rad 3 on both sides. These uh, cancel each other out. And we're left with a is equal to 9 over rad 3. So you could leave it like that or um, some people don't want to have radicals in the denominator so we're going to want to rationalize this answer. So to do that we're just going to multiply the radical rad 3 to the numerator and the denominator. And when we do that we're left with 9 rad 3 over 3. And then this can be simplified even further. 9 divided by 3, they're just dividing those whole numbers. 9 divided by 3 is 3 radical 3. So this is all equal to a. So a is equal to 3 rad 3. So remember a is always across from 30 degrees. So we're just going to put a equals 3 rad 3. And then over here our hypotenuse is always 2a which is going to be 2 times 3 rad 3. So we're just going to multiply these whole numbers. 2 times 3 which gives us 6 rad 3. We're going to leave the radical the same. So that's our answer. So if you're looking for more questions just like these, check out the practice questions on this slide right here. The answers are off my website, mathsocks.org, if you want to check your answers. And if you're looking to make math suck just a little bit less, think about subscribing to my YouTube channel. I post free math videos every week, so hope to see you guys around soon. Thanks and happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!